Hey guys, welcome to this week's edition of Whiteboard Wednesday. Today I'm going to be explaining the difference between an offset account and a redraw facility. Quite often we have clients that use the term offset and redraw interchangeably when in fact they're actually different types of loans. So follow me and let's have a look at an example. Alright, I'm going to start with this perfectly um, rounded circle that I previously produced for you. This represents a loan with a redraw facility. So I'm going to use an example of my favourite loan amount, $500,000. And what I've got down here is a balance of $450,000. So in this example, I've dumped $50,000 into the actual loan facility. And my access to that loan would normally be available through what's known as a redraw facility. Now to access that redraw, I have to go into the loan and I have to take it out and put it into my nominated bank account. We jump over to here, and the difference between the redraw and the offset account is there's two separate accounts. So it's about the quarantining of the accounts or the separation of the accounts. Here I've got a loan, again for 500,000, but instead of me putting the 50 grand into the loan, I'm putting the $50,000 into the offset account. Now, the way in which the bank will calculate my interest is exactly the same way as what they would do on the redraw facility. Over there, they'd calculate interest on my outstanding balance, which is 450 grand. And here, they'd be calculating interest on the difference between the 500,000 minus $50,000. So again, they'd be calculating interest on 450,000. So fundamentally, the difference between the two accounts when it comes to the calculation of interest is no different. So why would you prefer one over the other? Well, I'll give you my experience, and it really comes back to what the prerogative of you as the borrower is. And in most instances, it's to reduce debt or reduce the amount of interest that you have to pay in the most effective manner. So think about this. With this loan facility, I spoke about it before, you actually have to manually take the money out and place it into your transaction account. Now, when you place it into your transaction account, the amount you've got in your transaction account is going to be less than the $50,000 you've got sitting in your offset account. So by nature, when you're visibly looking at your bank account, you don't have as much money in your nominated bank account as you would in this offset account, especially when you're using this offset account as your transaction account, i.e. all money's going into it and all money's coming out of it. Now, human nature says that when you're sitting and looking at a bank account, with a balance of $50,000, you're gonna be more inclined to feel like, hey, yep, I'm going okay. And it's likely that you're, you're gonna spend more out of that account than you would if you had to go through this process. So if the prerogative is around saving interest, in my experience, those um, loan accounts or those borrowers that have this set up normally fare better than this set up when they use this bank account as their primary transaction account. See, offsets are quite often sold on their convenience and there's a price associated with convenience. That said, what we do with our clients is there is a quarantining and, and, and a tax advantage associated with offset accounts, which we'll talk about um, in, our, in next week. But you can still get the same benefits with that set up over here. And what we do for our clients is we recommend that all money, if that's fine, can go into the offset account. Loan repayments can come from there. But do the same thing. Set up a direct debit on a weekly basis into a separate nominated transaction account. And that is your money to spend and live on. So that whenever you're looking at that account, you know how much you've got to spend. Now, some people will say, hey, well, shouldn't it be in there? Because it's saving me interest while it's in there. It's not saving me interest while it's in there. Reality is, if you're spending whatever you've got in there on a weekly basis, you're not gonna, you're not gonna be um, feeling, it's not gonna be to uh, any significant detriment. So, one of the things uh, also to note is that um, a lot of, or the majority of loan facilities out there with an offset account mean you have to have a variable rate loan. However, through our wholesale funders, we've got one of the only products in the market that allows you to have an offset account actually attached, attached I should say, to a fixed rate loan. So give us a buzz, one 780 if you want to learn more about the correct way to set up a loan account and even past that, which one is going to be more suitable for you.